Good morning, afternoon, evening, Algebra 1, 2 fam. We are going to do some review because it's been a while. So we're going to review graphing systems of inequalities. Systems of inequalities. So that was the last thing we did. And really, um, part of the reason I want to do this is one, so like graphing straight lines is important. So I'm going to say linear straight lines. And um, also just remembering what like a solution is. Solution. Um, yeah, I mean, we're always graphing, so I want to practice. Um, and then, so after you watch this video, um, you're going to get a question. I'm going to ask you for a solution um, because it's hard to graph right now um, online. Otherwise, I'm going to try to figure out how to put like a Desmos graph in. But for now, we'll make this work. So I'm going to make my top line be 1, and that's blue. And then my bottom line be 2, and that's pink. Okay, so y equals mx plus b. So it's the same concept, except I have an inequality. Um, so I, I made some notes the other day about review of that, so please go back and watch those if you haven't yet. So this line starts at positive 3, so I'm going to put a dot at positive 3. This slope is 2 thirds, so that means I go up 2, so 1, 2, over 3. 1, 2, 3, so I'm going to put a big dot there. I can't go any further up, but I can go back. So I'm going to go down 2, 1, 2. Back three, one, two, three, big dot. One, two, same thing, I'm off. Oh, this is going to be kind of hard without a ruler. So this is a solid line because it has the equal bar underneath the inequality symbol. So this is a OODA solid line. So this is solid. So that means this one, because it doesn't have the equal bar underneath, is dashed. Okay, cool. So let's graph this. So this is negative 3, and my slope is negative. So I, I'm going to go down 4, but I'm like off the graph when I do that. So I'm going to work backwards. So from this point, I'm going to go up 4. So 1, 2, 3, 4. Back 3. 1, 2, 3. Um, and that, I can't do any other dots. Um, so right now, the point of intersection isn't... in incredibly important. Um, it is for system, so unit 6. But right now, um, we're not really looking for that. So I'm going to create a dashed line to the best of my ability. Okay, so um, when I was grading this, the shading, so your unit 7 tests, right, were graded if you did them. Shade! <laughs> Shade everything. Um, so I'm going to start with my blue. Y is greater than. So Y is greater than. Y is greater than. Greater. So that means if I'm at positive 3, something that's greater than positive 3 is positive 4. Right? So I'm thinking about above this line. So I'm going to shade this, all of it, everything. It's beautiful. Yeah? So for number 2, Y is greater also. So I like to look at my y-intercept, so negative 3. So a number that's greater than negative 3 is negative 2. So I'm thinking about all the possibilities above that line. So I'm going to shade everything. So a lot of students were sort of not touching that like overlap part, um, but that actually is the most important part. That's our solution. Wow, it's gorgeous. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to go over this with red. So, do, 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 do. this like weird, oh, I should use a highlighter. Sick. Yes. Okay, maybe, well, you get the idea. I'm going to go back with my pen and sort of make this extra red. It's gorgeous. All right, so this is our solution set. So that means every point that works for both inequalities that's in the shaded part is a, 
a technical solution, yeah? So I'm gonna choose with green, I'm gonna pick one that's like well within the shading. So I'm gonna pick this point here. And that is negative two, positive four. Okay, so if I ask for um, a solution, so, do, 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 do. Um, so it is a solution. Okay, sorry, I got distracted by something, it happens. And you could check that with algebra. So for number one, you would say four is greater than or equal to, ooh, I should have picked three. Dang it, I didn't, that's okay. Plus three, so four is greater than, do, do, do four thirds. Oh, but it's minus four thirds, oh dear. I have to erase that. Let me erase this. Oh man. Um, I should have used a three. So three minus four thirds, because this is minus, which is the same as nine thirds. Take away that. So four is greater than five thirds. Yeah, that's true. Oof -da. Okay, uh, so it works for one of them. I'm kind of out of space and I'm wondering, oh, I can scoot up or over. Cool, magic. Okay, so check for number two. Um, do, 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 four is greater than, strictly, negative four thirds times negative two, so that's gonna be positive. Four is greater than eight thirds minus, I'm going to make this 9 thirds. 4 is greater than negative 1 third for sure. Okay, yes, we did it. Thank goodness. Okay, so, oops, I'm going to sort of plop that right there. Um, it's a bit of work. Um, that being said, you need to be strong in your graphing. Your graphing of linear lines needs to be solid not dash, hey -o. Um, for this to sort of not take, you know, longer than you wanted to. So we're going to look at one more example, and that means here, <laughs> um, <laughs> that means that we're going to have to do a little bit more work. So I'm actually going to make this smaller-ish. Okay, so I want my highlighter. I want you to notice that these are both in standard form. So both in standard. Okay, so we need to change them. So I'm gonna make this red, oops. I don't want to do that at all. Oh, sorry. Okay, I'm gonna erase that. Um, I want my pencil, okay. So one is red, and then let's do two, blue. Okay, so red is first. So one, you can graph this without changing it. Um, you can, just for the record, but we're gonna change it. So I'm gonna subtract three X, subtract three X. I'm gonna put my X first, but you don't have to. Divide by two, divide by two, divide by two. I do not have to flip anything because I didn't divide by a negative. So this is positive, right? Positive. So I don't have to flip anything. All right, so number two, I'm gonna change x plus two y is less than or equal to positive two, okay? Minus x, minus x, two y, plus two, divide by two, divide everything by two. Again, this is positive, so I don't have to change anything. This is negative one half x, and this is plus one. Great. So again, you might need to review that. Um, practice as necessary. Please check out the Khan Academy that was already assigned to you, and also this week's work. Um, we will start our new unit next week, but I wanna make sure that we are able to graph straight lines. All right, graphing, let's go. 
So I start at negative one and I go down three. One, two, three, forward two, one, two, big dot. Same thing, I can go up and back. So up three, one, two, three, back two. Um, one, two, three, back two. Okay, this is a solid line. It is, in fact, solid. So I'm gonna do my best. Okay. Blue, let's go. Number two starts at positive one. It goes down one half. Down one, forward two. Down one, forward two. And then same thing, up and back. I don't really, again, care about that point of intersection, but it's there if you need it. All right, and then this is also a solid line because it can be equal to that value. Ooda. Okay. Shading. Shade, 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 shade. Y is greater than. Greater means up. Yeah? So if this is negative 1, a number that is greater than negative 1 is 0. Right? So all these things are thinking about going up. So I'm going to shade this whole side of my... Oh, wait. I want to use my highlighter. I'm going to shade, just like in real life, all of this. Beautiful. Oh, yeah, that's way better. Okay, cool. Go back to my pen. So for this, number two, why is less than? L less than. So if I'm thinking again about a number less than one, I'm thinking about zero. I'm thinking about if I'm at two or zero, I'm down to negative one. So I'm thinking about below the line. Below. I'm going to take a highlighter. So I'm going to shade everything below the blue line. Yes, that's beautiful. Okay, so the overlap, I'm gonna do purple. This is like weird little sliver. Maybe this looks familiar to you. This is actually a problem we did in class, um, believe it or not. Oh my gosh, it's gorgeous. Okay, so the solution set is infinite. It could be literally anything if these lines keep going on for forever, which maybe they do. So you're going to choose one point, choose one point. Um, and I'm looking to see if I have any fractions. I do, I have two. So I am going to pick something that has X as two. So I'm going to pick, hmm, let's do negative two or two, negative two, sorry, two, negative two, two, negative two. Because I want the two um, to cancel. I want it to be one. Okay, cool. So I'm going to check in green. I'm going to check over here. So one, I'm going to check original. Original. So I'm talking about these things up here. Original. Okay. One. Oh, so I didn't, I didn't need the twos then. Oh, I'm funny. Okay, well, whatever. So <laughs> three times two. Plus 2 times negative 2, does that really equal this? Or it's greater than, hopefully. 6 minus 4. 2 is greater than or equal to negative 2. That's a true statement. It works. Okay. Um, the second one. So 2 plus 2 times dun 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 dun. Is that less than or equal to regular? Positive 2, right? Yeah. Okay. So this is 2. That's negative 4. So negative 2 is less than positive 2. True. Great. We love it. So this is one option in the solution set. But the solution set is infinite. F-Y-I. Okay. So for your... I want to check really quick. Um, for your practice problem um i think you're going to you're going to give a solution so practice you're going to give one solution and i think i want you to write yeah i want you to write the equations oof that might be a throwback so 
we didn't practice that here in this video, but again, that should be a review. So please practice as needed. If it's wrong, that's fine. I'll give you that feedback. Um, and we could do maybe like a different video at a different time. Um, okay. Systems of inequalities. Awesome. Love it.